Wah, keren banget ya Arus itu tadi Ditambah ada kain tantobe Perpaduan yang pas buat duet Iya dong, guru taruna nih bos Sendol dong Eh, tata Udah Kamu ngapain jadi baju kayak gini? Aku mau nampil Nampil apaan? Penasaran ya? Ya sudah, aku tampil sekarang ya Oke, okay, deh langsung saja kita saksikan tampilan dari Mas Najwan Beri tepuk tangan yang meriah Interested with the story? Okay, friends, I will tell you the story. The story from East Java. Title is Lemu Suro. Please enjoy. Once upon a time, in East Java, there was a king named Prabhu Brawijaya. Prabhu Brawijaya was the king of Majapahit Kingdom. Prabhu Brawijaya had a beautiful daughter named Tia Ayu Pusparani. The princess was a fascinating lady. There were so many princesses wanted to propose. But Prabhu Brawijaya had not accepted any of it because he wanted to fight the jealousy among the princess. Prabhu Brawijaya was very confused to choose one of them to be his daughter's husband. Then he got an idea. He made a contest. Anyone who can stretch the sacred bow of Kyai Karitaya and lift the gong of Kyai Sekartelima, he can be my son Lord. The announcement spread among the kingdom. There were so many people interested in participating. One by one, they tried and tried to do the challenges. But no one succeeded. When Abu Brawijaya closed close the contest, suddenly there came a young, bull-headed man. Oh, my lord, would you please allow me to participate in this contest? The young man fetched to the king. Alright, young man. What's your name? Say it, Prabhu Brawijaya. My name is Lembusuro, my lord. Replied, young man. Well, Lembusuro, you may be the step this guy. Say it, Prabhu Brawijaya. Prabhu Brawijaya, if Lembusuro permission, because he thought that Lembu Suro would not be succeed. When Lembu Suro steps forward and took the bow, It turns out that Lembu Suro was so powerful, he did it, he could stretch the second bow, and so the gold, the gold lifted. But unfortunately, the princess Dia Ayubusmarani was very shocked, she was very disappointed. She said that the winner of the competition was a young, old, hairy man. She thinks hard finding a way to make her not marry the master. Okay, request. She request to Lembu Suro. She wanted Lembu Suro to be well in one night. Of course, Lembu Suro agreed. Lembu Suro did not need much time to build the well. As the night fell, Lembu Suro almost finished the well. The princess getting panicked. 
She did not expect that Lumbusro beat the challenge on time. The princess begs her father to interrupt Lumbusro's work. Father, what should we do? I really don't want to marry him. Father, please do something. Father, please. As the princess, Prabhu Brajaya did not want to disappoint his beloved daughter. Finally, he found a way to finish off Lumbusro's life. Gods, fill the well with the dirt and not drop. Hurry up! exclaimed Prabhu Brajaya. Soon the guards executed Prabhu Brajaya's command. Immediately, Lembusuro was buried in the well. But Lembusuro's lawyer still came out of the well. Guards, Prabhu Brajaya, and all the people because of this pain. No, 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 no! Prabhu Brahmajaya, one day you will get my revenge. Today will be a river. Later will be a mainland, and Tulungagu will be a deep lake. Brahmajaya was very afraid. He gave the full offering every day to protect the Hindu people from Lumbu Suro's curse. And he had come to kill the rap. Kedir people It's Lumbu Suro's curse. So friends, there are two values we can learn from this story. First, we need to keep our promise, whatever it is. Second, we can't promise anything easily to others if we pull them fulfill it. Thank you, my name is Najul Margi Gumai, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.